So this is a X-Tech uh, humidity temperature pin. Uh, sometimes these are referred to as thermal hygrometers because it's gonna measure temperature and it's also gonna measure humidity levels. So what I'll do um, is I'll turn this on and uh, it'll display right here what the temperature and the humidity levels are. Um, so it's displaying this right now and usually let it settle down just a little bit when it bounces around. It's uh, saying right now, at this point in the house, it's 77 degrees and 54% relative humidity. 77 degrees and 54% relative humidity. Now if I move over by the thermostat, it'll give me a different reading. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We've set this up over here at the thermometer uh, I'm sorry, the thermostat. And so we've got the, the thermohygrometer up here. And it says that the uh, temperature inside the house is 75 degrees, and the temperature that this is reading is 77 degrees. The thermostat should probably not be reading the exact same temperature as any uh, thermometer that you uh, have over here uh, for the simple fact that the thermostat has a dead band. You don't want the thermostat turning on the HVAC system every time the temperature changes by a degree. Uh, so there's this, uh, typically there's a, a dead band in there that it'll let the temperature rise up um, a certain number of degrees or fall a certain number of degrees before it kicks on. And so it says it's 75 and it's 77. That's well within the range uh, for this season uh, for the temperature uh, between the thermostat and this thermometer. And you'll also notice that it says it's 51% relative humidity right here. Now when we're going to be taking measurements on relative humidity readings in a house, you'll need to take them throughout a variety of places because the humidity levels change depending on the uh, moisture sources and how close you are to a moisture source. A lot of times we'll see really high humidity levels at the uh, micro level um, and it creates these little microclimates around windows and in bathrooms and your kitchens and sinks and things like that. Um, but a good, a good way to do it is, is to get into the middle of the room and, and take a measurement in the middle of the room so you're basically in the center of the occupied zone in each of the rooms that you're going into and then as you wander around the room take a survey. I will also point out that in spite of the fact that these things are called a pen uh, they don't actually write uh, they're just kind of shaped like a pen and they have a little clip on the back do not put this in your pocket and wander around the house taking readings because if you do uh, here's the sensor and this is going to be trapped next to your warm, wet body, and the humidity levels will start to go off the chart, and that will give you a false reading. So uh, make sure that you don't, uh, don't do that. Okay, uh, so now we're going to go up into the attic and measure what the temperature is up in the attic as well. We've been up in the attic uh, for just a little bit, and I went ahead and rested this on top of uh, uh, rafter support so that we could just get a, a temperature reading. And it says it's 113 degrees um, up here in the attic. Uh, it was 76, 77 degrees in the house, 113 degrees up here in the attic. And it's also showing that it's roughly 38% relative humidity up here. So we have lower humidity, relative humidity levels up here uh, at a higher temperature. And that's because warm air has the capacity to hold more moisture than cold air. So the house would, what we would expect to see, uh, cooler, higher relative humidity levels up here, hotter, lower relative humidity levels. Uh, so uh, interesting little tool, very handy. Uh, to take some outside readings as well, uh, inside readings, and then attic readings. And it'll help you figure out which direction the moisture is trying to go at this point in time. So we were up in the attic, um, and while we were in the house, it was 77 degrees and 54% relative humidity. So that gave us a, a dew point temperature uh, right around 59 degrees uh, dew point. We were up in the attic, and it was 113 degrees Fahrenheit and 38% relative humidity but the dew point temperature in the attic was 82 degrees. So anytime you get above an 80 degree dew point, uh, it really can become life threatening. So you don't wanna spend more than 20 minutes at a time up in a space like that. And the best thing you can do is, is go up there, get one task done, come back out. And when you come back out, you really should rehydrate um, as much as you can. You can never have too much water uh, carried with you or carried around in your vehicle. I usually have four or five bottles of water rolling around in my car. Um, anytime I'm going to be anticipating working in an attic, I always carry more. Uh, alcohol is not a good rehydrator while you're on the job. Uh, after the job, however, uh, there's nothing more satisfying than a nice cold pint of Guinness. But since I'm working today, uh, I'm doing water.